Good morning, my name is Liam Feeney. I'm from SpotTrack and you're very welcome to LDI 2016 here in Las Vegas. So I'd love to tell you a little bit about SpotTrack, which is our product that um, we have uh, introduced to the American market through our good friends at Synchrolite. So SpotTrack is an automated follow spot system and it converts any moving light into a follow spot. It works with any moving light that will take DMX, streaming ACN, um, it currently works at any desk that's out there on the market. So once you can produce DMX, streaming ACN, um, out of your desk, we can take it and we can convert a moving light into a follow spot. So if you want to have a little look at the rig up over your head here, we currently have some AFSs. These are synchromites that have been specially adapted for us by the guys at Synchrolite and they're currently in their normal moving head mode doing things that you would normally do on the show. So Dane, if you would like to enable, we are currently going to change these into some follow spots. So Dane on the desk, fire the cue, the desk sees Synchrolite, the head, it, we recognize it as a, as a channel. When we enable it in our system, we convert it into a follow spot. The way we control the, the heads is very simple. We move a mouse here on the screen. The camera is up overhead taking a look at your stage. And wherever you put the mouse, that's where the lights go. We currently are using two lights, but we could just as easily use one light. So that head has now gone back to being a moving head. And now we can take it back in and use it as a follow spot again. So it's that simple, just cues from the desk. You can have the moving light be controlled through the desk with other parameters such as dimmer, iris, zoom, focus, um, all of the color wheels, anything like that that you want to do. Or you can have our system automatically control dimmer, iris, focus and zoom and just have the operator concentrate on those. We have features like thumb wheel and the dimmer wheel. They can be controlled through the, through the thumb wheel on the mouse if you wish to do that also. So the system, currently we have two heads running in it, but it can control 5, 10, 20, or as many as you like. We're, this is a one universe, 20 channel system, but we also have other systems that will do multiple universes as well. So the, the camera that you see up overhead is a camera that we specially designed. This particular one is, um, is an, an, an entry level broadcast camera, but we also make our own specific cameras where your stage may be very wide or your stage may be very long and narrow. We currently populate them with uh, CCD chips and we can build a 16 to 9 or a 32 to 9 camera depending on your particular application. So that's it. It's that simple really. And as a lighting design tool, lighting designers are beginning to see the other possibilities with it where you can now simultaneously backlight, side light, front light somebody using your moving head. And as they walk around your stage, you can also switch in and out moving heads that are in the particular place that give you the best angle or give you the correct look that you want. So one application we have currently running on the West End is with the, uh, the Donmar um, and it, they do a a Shakespearean trilogy and this year it's at King's Cross and it's a, a temporary structure um, and it's essentially from the from the floor to the underside of the lights is about 16 maybe 18 feet so it's a very 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 low headroom and because it's in the rectangle a little like this example here where the audience are on the four sides and the actors are free to move anywhere they want so the blocking is very very um, very very open um, so the system there is four spot tracks and they have 16 TW1s put in by the guys at White Light. And the reason that light was chosen was because it's tungsten base, it's super quiet and the CMY is really, really good in it. Uh, but because you have such a, a low floor to, say, underside of light uh, height available to you, you couldn't get normal follow spot positions in there, you couldn't get guys in chairs, uh, you couldn't use, we say, a, a single one-to-one -one base system because by the time the light would have lifted from somebody here to here, you're putting the, the light in the audience's faces. So we met with James the LD at White Light and um, we, we demoed the product and you, you know showed what, the, what it could do. And the beauty of it is, is that we, we can control up to 20 fixtures with the system. So as the actor moves around the stage, the uh, LD switches in, the operator switches in and out different lights so that you're always at a, at a, nice, a nice sharp angle and you always have... Um, we say a, an open blocking that never blind, blinds the audience or puts uh, lights in the, in the audience's faces. Yeah, So it's one of the advantages of the system that you can, again, you can pick any, any number of lights. You can put those lights anywhere in your rig 
And if you can get a if you can get a moving light in there, you can get a follow spot position from that then. And and the desk because the desk can control which ones it switches in on a cue by cue basis, it means that you can literally pick any light you want. So this is this is a system running with twenty lights currently in the in the round and gives you an example of, of how, how flexible it is, you know? Fantastic. That's Thank great. You. Oh, you've, look at my pleasure, Mark. Right, Thanks thank for you. coming by. Thanks for coming by. So I hope you enjoyed this little talk. I'm delighted to meet all my friends here from Control Booth. 